Uh, doctor, if you would please, give us an idea, first of all, and, and give us the explanation, first of all, of goiter. A goiter is an abnormal enlargement of the thyroid gland. Uh, and it can be uh, either uh, because of a lack of iodine uh, in the diet. Uh, for instance, that's why iodine was added to salt in certain endemic areas. Here on the coast, it's not essential. Uh, there are also uh, idiopathic uh, reasons where no one really truly understands, but there is also a condition called uh, Hashimoto's, uh, where the... Which we'll talk about momentarily. We we'll, we'll, definitely want to get to that because we have a graphic on that that I want to make sure people see. Let's. Next, go to hyperthyroidism. Hyperthyroidism is uh, a reaction where the thyroid is overproducing a thyroid hormone, uh, and the pituitary is uh, reading this as an overproduction and suppresses the TSH in the blood. Hypothyroidism. Hypothyroidism is uh, a condition where the thyroid is underproducing uh, the hormone. Uh, and in this case, the pituitary will ask the thyroid to produce more. Uh, and it can be from a variety of reasons, but there are also autoimmune uh, conditions that will be hypothyroid. The effects then of thyroid cancer. Let's look at that next because we have that as the next condition. Thyroid cancer will not have any uh, abnormalities in the thyroid hormone production. Uh, this is an anatomic problem, meaning a tumor or nodule that is within the thyroid gland, which has transformed into cancerous cells. Okay, how does then, because you, you talked about the nodules as well after thyroid cancer. Tell us a little bit more about the thyroid nodules. Thyroid nodules are uh, atypical. Uh, they can be benign. They can be atypical, they can be borderlying on thyroid cancer, or they can actually be cancers. And thyroiditis, exactly what is that? That is an inflammation uh, of the thyroid, and whether it is triggered by uh, either an autoimmune phenomenon or by a viral or bacterial infection.